D Sigma. This looks absolutely forbidden. D Sigma. This is something that you shall not do. No, God is going to punish you for what you just did, Papa. A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. So as most of you might know by now, um, this channel is turning into a review channel for various sponsors, in, including wallets of all kinds, backpacks and also um, those boys, graphic tablets, for example, the one from Gaumon right here. Um, and as per usual, I would like to present you another product, which um, I'm kind of excited about. Namely, it's yet another graphical tablet by this time Arti Sul and not Gaumon. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm going to try it out live in this video right here. And the people from Arti Sul were kind enough to sponsor this video this time. Once again, I'm not going to receive any money from you, for example, buying one of their tablets during Black Friday using the links in the description. There you can find a lot of discounts. But they provide me with this tablet and it's more than enough. I don't need money if I can have something like this. It's absolutely amazing. So um, even though I have like 5,000 graphical tablets lying around by now, um, I'm still excited about receiving some of those because um, in my opinion it's pretty cool to compare tech stuff. So I got two from Gaumon and this one from Artisul and I'm going to give you my honest um, opinion about this tablet after we tried it out doing some in integration using the Windows uh, Ink workspace, etc. Um, also, what came with the whole package? So the package I got here, and it's pretty similar to what you are going to receive when buying a Gaumon tablet, for example. So in this Artisul package came this very light. So this thing right here is extremely light. Comparing it with the other um, tablets from Gaumon, this one is extremely light and, and it looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, there came the tablet. Also with the tablet came this stand right here. And this stand, if I compare it to the Gaumon stands, um, is actually way more functional. So this thing right here is extremely slim. So you can put it like some, some kind of paper um, just into your backpack so you can take it with you all the time. It's, it's not thicker than a folder that you can put into your backpack. And it's actually really easy to set up. So you just basically um, pull those up a tiny little bit and then you can set the steepness of the stand. And then you can start putting your, your Artisual tablet on here. And I think that's, that's really cool. So in terms of functionality and just how easy it is to set up. This thing right here gets an absolute plus for me. If I compare it to the other Gaumon tablets, the functionality of this thing, really good when it comes to just setting everything up. Really nice. Now, I would like to plug everything into my PC and see how it performs. Next to the package, once again, came a bunch of cables. And this right here is the downside to each and every graphical tablet. I have tried up until now, you are going to get so many cables. It's, it's kind of un, un, uh, <laughs> uncomfortable to, to look at. Okay, so this is kind of giving me a bit of discomfort. And also, this time you are going to receive this little um, pen bag together with this sleek looking pen, which also have, has the same levels of sensitivity as the Gaumon tablets. Um, so 8,129 levels of pressure sensitivity that you can put on this pen. And I'm going to see how it compares in terms of sensitivity and just writing in, in general with the Gaumon tablets. Got it? Got a bunch of experience, okay, already. Um, so I can actually give a nice review of the product. Now I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to see you in, let's say, five hours, okay? Can take a while. Now the cable situation is giving me a little bit of PTSD, but that's not a problem at all. Um, I mean, uh, it's it's not as bad as with the Gaumon PD1560. The cable situation is a tiny little bit better. So this is how it looks once you plug it in. And if you compare it to, for example, the small one I received from Gaumon, you might notice that uh, um, yeah, it's it's basically equivalent in terms of 
area you can have to, to ride on it. So that's not downside, it's basically equivalent to the area you had on the Gaum one. Also it's looking pretty good. I like um, that the scrolling wheel, I think this right here is a scrolling wheel. Yeah, I can actually adjust a bit of stuff. There, there are my other Sandbox Pro Duo with it. Um, looks actually pretty sleek. Also you can use some macros here. But before we can get started with the whole process, I need to download the software once again from the Artistool website. So apart from the whole cable situation, my open tabs are going to give you PTSD probably. <laughs> I got quite some tabs open up here. But other than that, they gave me the Artisul um, D16 Pro. So we need to download the, firm uh, the, the firmware as well as the Windows driver as far as I'm concerned. So let's do this real quick. So I installed it now and as far as I am concerned, uh, software is basically the same one as with Gaumon. It totally looks identical. It's, it's just changed from Gaumon to uh, Adi Sewell, basically. And you can set up the digital pen just like before. If you want to have more information about that, just take a look at my Gaumon review, basically. Now that I'm done setting everything up, let us just dive right into the main game right here and let's see how it performs. And I hope everything is set up correctly and let me see, let's take a look at the integral of just, yeah, let's say cosecants of x dx. Oh, that feels really good. Um, one big difference is if I compare writing on the Artisul tablet with, for example, the newest one I got from Gaomon. So here with the Gaomon one, you. <laughs> the difference in size is tremendous. With the Gaumon one, it has kind of a slightly rough surface. It feels good riding on it, it doesn't feel bad. But the surface on this one by Artisul is actually extremely smooth. It, it feels nice on the touch. Um, I like how it feels actually. Um, so that's definitely a plus. Um, okay, cosecants, let us see. Yeah, um, oh, th that's nice, Integra. Um, as far as writing goes, I really like the sensitivity of this thing, so the, s the strokes are actually really good. So, yeah, reminds me of the calligraphic pens yet again, so it really does what it has to do. Um, and also you don't have to press too hard on it. Um, it has a nice reaction time. Once again, you're going to see the mouse cursor when, when riding with it. This is something that just happens. You, you can't really turn it off. I haven't found out how to turn it off yet. But other than that, um, it has a nice reaction time. It really draws once you start drawing on it. It has a really nice reaction time. So in terms of HDMI connection, there's really not a problem I have to deal with. And yeah, it feels good. Let us solve this boy now. So this right here is one over the sign of x dx. Meaning this right here, let's expand this fraction by, um, uh, yeah, how do I approach those? Normally, yeah, let's expand this with the sine of x divided by the sine of x. Okay, um, yeah, feel, feels good on touch. Um, I'm riding kind of fast right now, hence it looks kind of um, hingeschmiert, as you would say in German. But yeah, um, this right here is going to result in, let's write time a little bit bigger. Okay, this right here is going to result in the sine x divided by the sine squared of x, integrate with respect to x, and obviously by the fundamental theorem of trigonometry, we are going to have that this is going to result in the sine of x, divided by 1 minus the cosine squared of x, dx. And now we are pretty good to go. We are going to say, um, let, I don't know, capital sigma, oh goodness, what a substitution, no, you shall not do that. Let capital sigma be equal to <laughs> the cosine of x, this also implies that um, d sigma, this looks absolutely forbidden, d sigma. This is something that you shall not do. No, God is going to punish you for what you just did, Papa. Um, it's going to turn into negative the sine of x. Um, no, yeah, negative the sine of x dx, obviously. So negative the, uh, the uh, sigma is going to be a sine dx dx. So this is going to turn into the integral of negative d sigma divided by 1 minus okay and this is going to turn out to be just sigma squared 
Oh yeah, good stuff. Okay, so this is what we are having right now. This looks absolutely ugly. And from this point onwards, we can just do partial fraction if I'm not mistaken. So let me take a look real quick. So if we have one over one minus um, x squared, this is going to be, let's see, one over one plus x minus one over one minus x. Let me see if this works out. So this right here, one might, no, we need to have it the other way around, right? So, putting it up here, obviously, I'm terribly sorry about that, um, meaning we're going to get a factor of one half, leaving us with negative one half times, and now we're going to get the integral of one over one minus sigma, d sigma, plus integral of d sigma divided by um, one plus sigma. Okay, and this is going to result in negative one half. And now we are going to get this right here is nothing but natural log. So meaning we are going to get negative log of... Um, okay, so we are going to get one minus cosine of x. And this is going to give us plus log of one plus cosine x. Okay, now I need to switch. This is actually, um, I still need to set up the macros such that I can actually um, move it upwards and downwards. This is something that you can do with those buttons. How many buttons do we have? I mean, we have those scrolling wheels, um, one button, nine buttons plus a scrolling wheel. So this is pretty okay if you ask me. This is going to be negative one half. Okay, other than that, we are going to receive, um, this is going to be the log of one plus cosine of x divided by one minus the cosine of x. Okay, let me see. So th there are two ways to expand this boy. So we could expand this by one plus cosine of x over one plus cosine of x. Yeah, this should actually be good. Negative one half, then we are going to get the log of one plus cosine of x squared divided by one minus cosine squared, which is going to be the sine squared. Meaning overall, if we drag the one half power to the inside and a negative, um, actually, we shall not do that. Let's expand this differently. Just has to do with the negative sign that we have in the front. Namely, I would like to turn this into one minus the cosine squared, which is the sine squared, divided by one minus the cosine squared, okay, overall. So just expanding it like this, leaving us with, if we take the reciprocal and also bring the one half power to the inside, this is going to end up being the log of the absolute value of one minus the cosine divided by the sine, and this is going to turn into the log of, and now we are going to get one over sine is the cosecant of x minus the cotangent of x. Uh, yeah, cot. I was thinking, how do we denote the cotangent? I wanted to write a CTG. This is also a notation that you find sometimes, but this is ugly as frick, of x plus c. Yeah, this was an improvised integral of the cotangent, no, of the cosecant, and I hope it was correct what I just did here. So all of this was just to try out how this thing is actually performing, and it does pretty well. I am highly surprised that the quality, no, I'm not really surprised. Um, I just think that it's cool that the quality is on par with the new Gaumon that I received. It's smaller, but it's way more comfortable to take with you. So the stand is really nice and portable. There's really nothing to argue about that, as well as this tablet. Comparing the weight, okay, so the mass of this thing with the mass of the other Gaumon ones, this thing is winning, definitely. It's going to be way easier to take this with me, for example, to school. Um, this is definitely a plus for me. Other than that, the handling is totally the same. If you want to know about the specs of this thing, this right here has, I believe, a 15.6 inch 
diagonal um, display okay to write on um, if you want to have more information about the functionality of this thing just take a look at the Gaumon video the, the Gaumon review Be because I, I think they are pretty similar in terms of specifications like you get a pen with it you are going to get this nice and sexy glove with it you're going to get a pen a tablet with it plus a stand etc but um, just to conclude everything you're going to get a Black Friday deal, definitely. Link will be down there in the description. Also, don't forget to check out their website too. They have other things over there too, like accessories to those tablets overall. Um, and other than that, I see a lot of positive sides to this tablet right here, okay? It looks really good. I like the scrolling functionality that we're having here. Like the handling is really similar to the Gaomon ones, but in terms of portability, this thing is winning by a big margin. It's light, it looks sleek, it's, it's, it's really thin. The stand is really easy to take with you. No need to screw or unscrew anything. And yeah, in terms of portability, this one is winning for me. In terms of everything else, it's basically equivalent to what you get if you were to buy a Gaumon tablet. So if you look for something that you can take with you, for example, if you're a teacher like me and you want to take this with you and you want to do a remote teaching from your school, okay, sitting in your office and you want to re do remote teaching there, definitely get yourself this one. Definitely worth it. Um, I'm highly satisfied with the quality that this tablet is delivering to me. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, make a comment, channel effect. Like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, buy those teachers I create or support the channel on Patreon. And other than that, thank you guys for watching and have a flammable day. Ciao!